Hi everyone. This is an appeal to everyone in Great Britain who's finally had enough of Great Britain just becoming Britain. We all know that we're under a massive threat from jihadi terrorists, but there are many that are totally unaware that this is just an invasion by the beginnings of an Isla Islamic caliphate. That intends to make Britain part of their Islamic state. They want to take over Europe, Britain, and eventually the world. They're being aided by those on the left, many of which are on the payroll of George Soros. If you don't know who George Soros is, you should really Google him and find out what an evil little bastard he is. They're also being aided by a generally corrupt police force. I say generally because there's some of the plods on the ground that are doing just what they're told and they've got mortgages and families. But those higher up are almost, probably 99% of them as corrupt as the government are. The police force is trying to stamp out any paper patriotism or an uprising against the inept government that we've got that has just destroyed our country over the last couple of decades. It, it's been, what they've done to this country is incredible and we've let them do it. Anyone who thinks I'm some sort of right wing nut is way off the mark. Patriot, yes. Racist or fascist, never. I challenge you to Google Islamic atrocities and Google what the Quran says should happen to unbelievers and gay people and lots of other people as well. There's so many things you can't do if you follow Islam, like breathe. This has gone beyond political correctness. The establishment is aiding Islam to set up illegal Sharia courts. Again, if you don't know what Sharia is, Google it, find out, you'll be shocked. At these courts, they can sanction underage marriages, stoning, female genital mutilation, and much more. And yes, that's happening here. They've actually got these courts set up illegally. And what they're also doing is they are also marrying three, four wives. And the government, the police, are just ignoring it. Islam has left its own countries in a state of chaos and destruction and has then left a swathe of death, rape and pillaging across Europe, almost entirely unchecked. I don't know why I say almost, because apart from Hungary and Poland, you know, I said, yeah, almost, I suppose. We're at a fork in the road. Left, we give ourselves up to the globalists, the inept government, and ultimately to a life under Islamic Sharia rule. Go right, and we come together as a whole, unite across Britain and stand against corruption, oppression, and the torrent of lies we are told to keep us sweet. Islam followers have to do what their book tells them, and that is to convert others, the kuffar, the infidel, to Islam, or kill them. And they have to do this until Islam rules the world. Their thought processes are not the same as ours. They are still at the point we were at when we persecuted people for being witches and wizards. We believed that at the time, mainly through religious beliefs. But they believe what they believe in just by a book that was written by a terrorist 14 odd hundred years ago crazy stuff. I personally, I run BritishWarriorWithin.com. I run that alongside Facebook group British Warrior Within The Battle Versus Islam. We need to organise ourselves to stand up for what is right, instead of just allowing ourselves to be manipulated into becoming slaves of Islam. British Warrior Within is holding its initial meeting, although we've been originated some months ago now, trying to get the members and to find a central location for a meeting, 
has proven to be quite difficult. Which is why I'm making this appeal now, because people need to start waking up. But we're holding the initial meeting. It's going to be in Nuneaton on the 8th of July this year. The meeting can be found, if you want the details, by joining Facebook group British Warrior Within the Battle vs Islam. Uh, I will need to okay that, um, and if you are an Islamist or a loony lefty, you'll get found out, so fuck off. There are no fees. Yes, there are questions for donations, but they're only made on my Facebook group, not spam your email, not on your Facebook page. So you don't have to pay a thing if you don't want to, but to help the group expand and to be able to do more, I can't do that with the money I've got coming in because it's not a great deal. That's none of your business um, and I'm sure you don't want to know. But any donations, always great to receive. The last lot of donations have brought a banner for the group, which quite simply explains what we're all about and will be used at anywhere we go, at meetings, etc. And thank you for the people who've donated for that so far. England expects every man, and now woman, to do their duty has never been so appropriate. That was from Nelson for the Battle of Trafalgar. And Britain was on the verge of being overrun then. But every man and woman did what was expected of them. They gave their lives to save the other people in Great Britain. We seem to have lost that a little now and we need, need to get it back quick. So I call out every British man and woman to stand up for your right to live in safety and without oppression, to regain free speech, which we have lost. Don't tell me we've got free speech anymore. We can say what they say we can, and then they call that free speech. And we need to put a stop to what has become a police state. Again, don't tell me it's not a police state. If you live out in some rural place in the Yorkshire Dales, no, it won't appear like a police state to you. But believe me, coming to the cities or even the, the slightly bigger towns and you will find it's a police state. Please talk about this with everyone you know. Well, not just this video, about what's going on. A lot of people don't even know. It, it just, oh, it's so, ang makes me so angry. <sighs> calm down, calm down, calm down. Right. Now, sorry, I tend to go into a rant, so I just calm myself down, and there we go. So yeah, share this video, sign up with British Warrior Within, um, obviously the website, which is BritishWarriorWithin.com. If you don't know how to spell warrior, it's W A. Double R I O R and also British Warrior Within the Battle vs Islam, which is the Facebook group. Attend the meeting on July the 8th. Come and have a listen for yourself. See what others have got to say, not just me. The more that we get there, the ch chances are that we'll actually be able to do something instead of talking about doing something. I challenge everybody out there to go and Google jihadist atrocities, to Google the what the Quran says should happen to non-believers, what the Quran should says should happen with adulterers, what the Quran says about paedophilia or underage marriage. Just Google it, go and have a look, go and have a look at this book that these people follow. And these people follow this 
because they told to and they've been brought up to follow it. It really is as simple as that. We have got to do this together. We cannot, we cannot keep going in tiny little groups of people here and there. Two here, two there, two there. Because Britain has never faced such serious peril of extinction as a nation, ever. Even with the Romans, even with the Normans, we didn't lose our nation. If Britain becomes an Islamic state, that is the end of Britain. It will never become Britain again. It will always be an Islamic state. I know that's hard to take in, but that's what's happening. And they're doing it by stealth. They're doing it by increments. If you notice, things have been ratcheting up over the last few weeks. And we haven't pushed back once. The one time that there's a pushback is when a load of mainly Muslims, and I'm not belittling people dying, nobody deserves to die unless they kill other people. But most of those people in the tower, they were Muslims. And there's such a big outcry. And that's because George Soros pays the left and also the Muslims themselves to kick up a big stink. It's not patriots out there saying, oh, what's going on? This is wrong. Sorry, I'm sitting on a plug. <laughs> no, not that kind of plug. Um, and all of a sudden, everybody's angry. What about... Westminster Bridge, what about Tower Bridge, what, what about the market, it's, anyway, as you can see I can go off on a tangent, you will get no truth from the mainstream media, you don't get any, even if you see something and they've got film of it, don't believe what you're saying. Please, please, I beg you not to. Again, go on the internet and look all this up. If you never use the internet, you are missing out on the truth. Big time. You need to search the internet. YouTube, appropriate anti-Islam Facebook groups. Um, not because people are just on there slagging off Islam. Because it's quite hard to do that, otherwise you get banned. But people are putting up articles they found that show Islam to be what it is. Which is a butchering society that has no care for anything other than expanding itself. It's like a virus. It's got no end, end goal, end game other than to take over everything and carry on with its barbarity. The fascists, yeah, they have their own agenda. And we won't let that happen either. We just want Britain safe from the barbarism once and for all. So I'm calling on you all again, please. If you don't want to join British Warrior Within, there are other groups. And if you find the little underground groups that are going on, good for you, because I would love to find some of them, because they're the ones that will end up doing something. Um, unfortunately, I have to do everything up front and take the risk of what the police state will try and do as soon as they see me as a threat. Thankfully, at the moment, they don't see me as a threat, which is good. I can live with that. So that's about it. Think about what you want from your country. Think about whether it's starting to fall about your ears if you really, really look at it. And did you 20 years ago worry about going into a city to do a bit of shopping? 
Well, that's a bit of a... The answer to that might still be yes because of the Northern Ireland issue, but that, that is so different to what is happening now. Ireland were never going to take over Great Britain. They wanted their own country. This time, somebody wants our country. So everybody, have a fantastic weekend. Please sign up to British Warrior Within, either .com and or the Facebook group Battle vs Islam. And I'd like to meet you face to face, have a chat with you. If you don't agree with my views, fine, give me yours and I'll probably tell you I don't agree with yours and we can part quite happily knowing that everybody's got different opinions. The one thing is, I will not be living under an Islamic state. You may be. Take care.